actually works. Do you have a flat basketball? You can't find your pump. Do you have access to your mum's hairdryer? What do you reckon this is about size three? We had a theory when we were teenagers and the theory came out of a desperate situation. I was going to my friend's house to go pick him up. The basketball we were gonna use was flat. He could not find his pump. He had a genius idea that I didn't understand, nor do I remember. He said, I will go get my mum's hairdryer. There is a theory, hot air like rises. Perhaps if we put hot air on the ball, the air that's already inside it will rise. So I thought, yeah, let's do it. So he went and found his mum's hairdryer, put this in the bathtub, just held this on the ball, and I remember it working. That is the memory I had from many, many moons ago. I'm in two minds about if that really worked or whether I just thought it did. Today we're going to find out, and I'm going to time it to see how long it takes to pump this up with a hairdryer. Don't forget the subscribe my measuring system. Okay, it didn't even move. I'm gonna put it on max setting because I'm hardcore like that. We're either having an earthquake or the SD card. It looks like I am shaking violently. Oh, it moved. Okay, let's go for another minute. That is two minutes. This actually works. So some of the footage still doesn't say exactly one yet. It might look a little bit jittery. It's still not at one pound. I'm gonna need a new SD card. Four minutes. Well, I can see the number one popping up. Popping for 10 minutes. Oh my goodness. Just one pound. I'm pretty sure that's what I had before. Maybe you should hold it. Maybe it likes to be held. So let's keep doing this. 12 minute mark. Now, I know the theory would be, you know, it's probably better to blow the hot air into the actual valve, but this is getting so hot. That. I don't want to melt it. See what happens now. Oh, this is hot. Let's get to at least a pound. We've actually lost it. Ah! Thinking back, and I remember it working, but it's coming back to me how long I waited. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do, but let's keep going. This time, I held that thing a lot closer. <laughs> so we are at one pound. 15 minutes of hair drying. So it's 15 minutes per pound, and we want to times that by seven. This could take 105 minutes and I know that 90 minutes is a movie and this is longer than that. I'm pretty sure we didn't pump this from flat. There's nothing else to do but persevere. 18 minutes and I had a theory that this ball is actually so toasty hot right now it's actually feeling quite inflated. So maybe it's not about time, maybe it's about how hot you make the ball. So I held that thing really really close to it this time and it is pretty hot. Let's see if heat has anything to do with it. So we're at zero, we're exactly where we were before. Oh, the are things I could have been doing with my day. Less pounds. So that little ball was just taking way too long. Even if it did work after like 105 minutes, it wouldn't be something that I put online to suggest. I'd be showing you a video about, hey, check this out. This is an idea not to do. And you don't need my help for that. So I'm going to recreate the situation I had. I'm gonna pump this the proper way to five PSI. If the ball is already somewhat pumped, but flat five to six pounds, and you can't find a pump, but you can find your mum to dry. Perhaps it's quicker if there's already air inside the ball. If you watch our other videos, you'll see we use this pump a lot. The, one of the best tools we ever bought comes with the pressure, so then you can get an accurate measurement pumping system. How many pumps do you think makes a pound? I made a video on that already. Ooh, 5.2. We want to get it to seven. This is actually awesome. Well, look in the description, there'll be a link to it. So that was two minutes. I wanted to do it for a straight five, but it's feeling really, really hard. Right, so let's see what two minutes did. <gasps> this actually works. We're at six pounds and it only took two minutes. Theory is the more air that's currently already in the ball, the faster this is. Let's get this to seven pounds. Actually getting scared at how rock hard this is. This the goal is to get this to seven pounds. Let's see what happens after four minutes. We're almost at seven. I'm hungry and I want this over with. My hair dryer smells like it's burning. 
says seven, so the more air that's in it, the better. Let's test this theory on a basketball that is already at six pounds. This is the size six ladies basketball. The size seven was pumped five pounds for about seven pounds in five minutes of hair drying. Have you ever thought about pumping a basketball with a hairdryer? I've over pumped this just over seven pounds. We're gonna hair dry this thing for two minutes from seven to eight. At two minutes, it was at seven. We wanted to get it at eight. <laughs> nine pounds in two minutes. This went from seven to nine in two minutes. The more air is in the ball, faster it pumps. This is a really cool little hack. The more air is in it, the faster. Two minutes and it pumped up two pounds. But that actually works. This theory actually works. That is how you can pump up your ball when you've lost your pump. I do not recommend this from flat or anything under five pounds. If you bounce the ball and it doesn't come back up like at all, maybe don't try this theory. It has been one hour. If you pump up a basketball from zero and spend over 21 minutes with your mother's hairdryer, one hour, you can expect it to have done nothing. If you use the size seven, and one hour later, it is at about five pounds. So it has lost air, but you can still play with it. If you had already had it inflated, seven pounds got pumped to nine pounds. Seven pounds. So this actually would probably be your best bet. If you have a slightly underflated basketball, you could spend two to five minutes for the hairdryer on the ball. You could use it for an hour, like you can still use that. I mean, it goes down each minute it's, it's losing air at least 60 minutes if not an hour and a half to two hours worth of playing time i remember when we were kids we did this and we've got at least one session out of it not something that's a long-term fix it's more of a can't find my pump and i really need to hit the course but a lot of people that are watching the videos constantly are just not subscribed i can see in my analytics it takes a second to hit the the, the like and it takes another second to hit the subscribe and one other second after that to hit the bell so if you could hit all those things that would be three seconds of your life that I will cherish for the next three years.